I think the ELAB Accelerator approach helps these teams in a lot of different ways. First, by just bringing the teams themselves together. You get 12 or 13 teams from around the country that might otherwise be doing this work in relative isolation in their geography, and they come together in this amazing location and feed off one another's energy. They get new ideas, new solutions. You know, true to its name, Accelerator really is a springboard for them to move forward faster on their projects. A lot of the people who are trying to innovate have great ideas, but sometimes are in a bit of a state of chaos, I guess, and are trying to figure out a framework to help them make important decisions. Often, people want to jump right into doing the work. They want to roll up their sleeves, they want to start planning, they want to start going down the pathways of solutions. The process intentionally forces divergence on the first day. Not necessarily uh, wedges between stakeholders, but it really forces people to start lowering the waterline on their understanding of problems. We expand the solution set or we expand the conversation to the ones that they're not having. What I didn't realize was not just that there would be a tremendous amount of opportunity to talk about the content and to really talk about energy and the energy industry. The level of facilitation is just incredible. RMI are really geniuses at, at bringing out the most creative impulses in people by devising a method that prevents groups from reaching early agreement at a fairly unimportant level and really driving people to examine the issues and the problems and their relationships in a much more profound way. If we wanted to just write an action plan, these people wouldn't be at Accelerator. What they want to do is transform the world. What they want to do is um, move beyond the everyday. And so they need to really focus on their underlying motivations and why in order to get there. You can have these diverse viewpoints. You can have stakeholders that are really coming from different perspectives all on one particular issue and trying to figure out is there a more constructive way of, of, of implementing a solution that, that works better for everyone. I think really the most challenging process was really being upfront about what we won't do and, and what could potentially fracture the, the relationship. And so now that we've, we've got that on the table and, and found ways to resolve that, uh, uh, it's very positive but a very challenging step to, to basically look across and say, you know, these are things that we can't do. We all have similar goals um, in mind, but to have everyone in the same room and to be able to learn from each other and really work together in a very collaborative way that we wouldn't normally do so. Um, I think it's a really incredible opportunity and we're already having a lot of fun doing that. There are lots of commonalities uh, between the teams. So they may be coming at the problem from uh, very different perspectives. You know, some on EV, others on microgrids, others on community energy systems. Uh, but uh, commonalities across them, uh, leveraging distributed energy resources, uh, policy issues, uh, the financial and the economic uh, uh, issues around this. So I think it's the synergy across the different projects uh, that's most exciting in this faculty role. They've done a pretty good job creating an environment where people that don't know each other can become intimate members of a team very quickly. Um, and they also create a very interesting level of discomfort in how you think through and approach problems that was frustrating in the beginning, but as, as the three-day event progresses, you start to really see the value of it. RMI is so efficient with its support and so innovative in its work that we, we never even really questioned that the quality of what they would put together would be great. Whether or not it was going to have a long life, we, we couldn't have known. So the gratifying part is relatively small grant, get something going, drew other funding, and here it is four years later and growing in leaps and bounds. Can't beat that. Thank you.